Wayne, a tough result to take tonight, but for the first 45 minutes, we're right in that game. Was it all going to plan until that sucker punch at the end of the first half? Yeah, it's a killer blow. Um, like I said, I think I think there's nothing in the game. First 45 minutes, I think we've competed well. I think we've matched um, matched Lewisage. Um, obviously, we know we know how to play. We know what they're good at. That's what the game plan, you know, worked pretty well. The energy were there, the commitment there, um, and then just thing is against good sides. If you just switch off, you know, for a minute, you can get punished. Um, you know, so that's a killer blow. Got 15 minutes to reset. I'm saying to the boys, and they listen, you're still well in this game. You know, we've got to start on the front foot and, and, and try and work his way back into the game. The, the real disappointing thing for me is that can't have been more than five minutes and we're three 0 down. I, I can't happen. It's just, it's just, it's just game management. It's just um, a bit of resilience, uh, a bit of character. You know, 11 players saying to themselves, you know, let's be strong, let's be committed, let's. Let's not give anything silly away, and, and, and let's let's try and us be the aggressor and start on the front foot. We just never did, and, and you know you can't. Don't matter, don't matter how how good a team you are. You can't chase. You can't chase a three 0 lead down against a team who's you know not conceding goals and, and, and scoring plenty themselves. Um, uh, just a, a real reality check that second half. Um, I'm not going to say it flat as Livers because I don't think it does. Um, and I'm not going to defend. I'm not going to defend myself and, and Chick, and I'm not going to defend his players. It's it's uh, it's not acceptable um, to put on that kind of a second half performance in front of a, a thousand people. Is um, is poor. Uh, I'm trying to choose my words carefully. Um, and um, and yeah, it's a bit of a wake up call, you know, because Liverpool, you've got, you know, they've started so well and clear they're going to be, um, they're going to be right in the mix. Um, we've got two weeks now to dust ourselves down to try and regroup. Um, if we feel like we need to bring players in, I won't hesitate in bringing players in because I will not accept and I will not stand for performances like that second half. Um, struggling to take any positives from it. Yeah, we can say we competed well first half, but the game's ninety minutes. Um, and, and performing for 45 is just not enough. Not against good sides. Um, so disappointed, um, uh, frustrated, angry. Well, the book stops with me. Um, you know, all right. The players haven't done themselves just this second half, but the book stops with me. And you know, if there's any criticism to come my way, I'll take it on the chin. The players have got to take it on the chin. Um, you know, I can't, I can't, and will not accept what I've seen. The capitulation that I've seen second half. We need to be stronger physically and mentally. Um, we didn't play. We didn't play anywhere near our brand of football that we, that we like to try and play. We got sucked into playing more direct, like they did, and, and, and they're better than it. Uh, they're better at that than we are. So tough night. Uh, apologies to, to people who have come and paid the money to watch, well, particularly second half. Um, we've got to be better. Um, I don't know how to address it up any other way. Sean, it was a, another game blighted by injuries, however, and did it mean a lot to have leaders like Jack Cargo back on the pitch tonight? The Jack's important to us, and, and obviously we've got two or three players back um, from the Mosley game. We brought two new signings in. Um, difficult for the two new signings to come into that type of a that type of a game, and you know, chucks in at the deep end in many ways. But they'll 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 still prove to be great assets to the football club. Um, you know, the season's not just about one game. Um, We've got to, you know, we've got to look at it on an even keel. We've not let it be, you know, to, as a management team, we've not got, got to take too many knee-jerk reactions. Would it have helped to add Ross Killer, Dot McGiven, George Green, people like that on the pitch? Absolutely, of course it would. You know, the quality players and the big players for us. But, but even still, you know, I still felt that we had enough quality um, on the pitch to do better than we have. Um, that result, that result shouldn't end up. How it has. Um, I, can, I can live with getting beat, um, but it shouldn't have ended up fighting. Um, and the fifth goal sums us up. It's just, just, just incredible naivety to end up, to end up one against three defensively. Um, you know, we've chucked everybody forward for a corner that even if we score, we're not going to win the game from. So, so why do it? Why, why leave yourself open to a break? I, I just don't get it. And, and that's where you need. That's why you need players to, to organise and, 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 to, and to see danger. Um, I just rounded off a, a tough second half for us. But um, 
Listen, you know, I can I can come on, I can rip people to bits. It's, you know, what's the point? You know, we, we've got um, how many games we played? Twelve. We've got another. We've got another twenty-eight games um, to go. Um, we're now moving into a run of fixtures after the after the break of two weeks, which is frustrating because after that you want to get straight back on the horse. But we're now moving into a run of fixtures where um, we're capable of getting a good points tally. It's important that we do that. It's important that we get back on track quickly. Um, said it before, I'll say it again, and I'm not just gonna I'm not just gonna say it because we've got well beaten tonight. But league tables in October mean nothing. Um, you know, we'll 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 revisit it at Christmas time and we'll see where we are. And if we're still in the top six, top eight at Christmas time, that gives you a platform to try and go and push on and, and try and uh, get yourself in the playoffs. Um, you know, like I said, one game's not season defining. Um, tough to take, disappointing. Like I said, you know, feel feel sick for the supporters having to witness that second half. Um, it's our job to make sure that we come back better. Um, I start doing those jobs better. Um, confident that we will. I'm confident that in, in after the break we'll have a couple of players uh, further back. Um, maybe maybe Derek, George, Marcel, people like that, which will help. Um, you know, we've got um, we've got we've got eyes on a couple of targets as well. So. Um, yeah, just just suck it up. Um, we've had plenty of praise for the start that we've had. You know, we've got to accept the criticism when you don't when you don't perform and, uh, and rightly so. So we'll, we'll take that on the chin. Um, we need to regroup and we need to come back stronger in two weeks' time. Of course, and finally, it was a record-breaking night for City United in terms of support tonight. What does it mean to you to have a 1,005 fans here? It's a night that we we dreamt of when we when we did the merger. Just what does it mean to have that support behind you after you know what has been a good start to the season overall? Yeah, I mean that that's that's phenomenal. You know, I knew there'd be a good crowd here tonight. I think Friday nights. Um, <clears throat> I agree. I agree with James Rogers' comments. Football should be Saturday three o'clock wherever possible. But I think the odd Friday night occasion does bring people out. I think the good thing about this league this year is there's a lot of local derbies. And I think um, on, in those local derbies, if each team can agree, and, and obviously we thank Lewis for agreeing to the request and stuff, um, you know, it does bring bumper crowds, and we saw that at Frickley, you know, it, it, when we played there, it, it's comfortably been their biggest um, attendance of the season. Um, I, I find it highly doubtful that we'll beat what we've, what we've, what we've had tonight. The disappointment, that just makes it even more disappointing to put on that second half performance in front of so many people. Um, you know, we we so wanted to put on a good performance um, to show that we're a good team, um, that we try and play the right way, and to try and attract some of those those supporters back. Um, well, listen, the season's long. Um, we're in a we're in a, a I can't dress it up. We're not in the greatest run of form. Um, we're having our blip. Let's hope. Let's hope this couple of weeks gives us an opportunity to regroup, um, refresh people, uh, get a couple of injured players back. And um, when we do restart, it is the sixth of November against Pickering. We need to make sure that we're at it and we go and get three points and then get and then kickstart our season again. Um, and that's very much what we'll be uh, working towards. Okay. Thanks very much for your time tonight. Cheers. Cheers, mate. Thank, thank you. you.